Let us now begin in Allah's blessed name. What is the Khilafa? The Khilafa is state and government in Islam. What is Islam? The definition of Islam is submission to Allah. What is submission to Allah? Submission to Allah is submission to Allah as Al-Malik. In some translations in English you find Malik as King. No. We don't want that translation tonight. We're dealing with political terminology here tonight. And so Al-Malik is the sovereign. Now that's a word you'll understand. Sovereign. Lahul mulk, sovereignty belongs to him. And so, to submit to Allah in Islam is to submit to Allah as sovereign, who possesses sovereignty. To submit to anyone else as sovereign. To declare that anyone else possesses sovereignty is to say goodbye to Allah. Did you hear that? To submit to Allah is to submit to Allah as Al-Akbar. And he reminds you that he is Al-Akbar. Because every time you perform Salat, you cannot move in Salat. Without Allahu Akbar. Al Akbar is the one who has supreme authority. And so the Khilafah is a state and government which submits to Allah's authority as supreme. The Khilafah was destroyed. Who destroyed it? Why did they destroy it? How did they destroy it? When did they destroy it? What did they replace it with? And what is its destiny? These are awesomely important questions which very few can answer today. You and I, from the Quran and from the Sunnah, from the Hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, we would know about the magnificent deception of al masih al-Dajjal, who brings the Jews back to the Holy Land, not as tourists, but to reclaim it as their own, between 1919 and 1948 who restores a state of Israel in the Holy Land in 1948 and convinces the one-eyed Jews that this is the Israel of Nabi Dawood Islam and Nabi Suleiman Islam, but of course it is not, it is an imposter. But they accept it and they embrace it. And that this Israel is about to become the ruling state in the world, replacing the United States of America. Bible prophecy predicts that they will one day rule the world from their temple throne in Jerusalem and that the world's King of Kings will be a descendant of King David and King Solomon of Israel. That is what Bible believers all over the world believe will come to pass. If this is to be accomplished and the golden age of the Jews is to return one more time, and they are to rule the world. How will they do it? They will need globalization to bring all of mankind together as one global society. And they need to demolish the Ottoman Islamic Empire, which stands in their way. And they will have to demolish the institution of the Khilafah which is the head of Islam. If you can cut off the head, 
then you can paralyze the body. But unbeknownst to either the Arabs or the colonists, the end of the First World War was also the beginning of the end of old world empires. New and powerful ideologies were on the rise, set to change the world forever. If you can cut off the head, then you can paralyze the body.